Hey guys, welcome to a What I Eat in a Day for Gut Health. I am taking you on a journey where everything has been carefully chosen for optimizing the gut. I'll share my biggest takeaways for effective gut healing after 10 years in healing my microbiome, some things that I don't always see other gut people sharing. So if you're in the business of healing your gut, you are in the right place. So this was breakfast, a lovely pre-prepped fruity green juice with apple, pear, pineapple, orange, kale, and jasmine green hot water. I paired this with two of my favorite morning supplements, great for bolstering and supporting the gut, this antioxidant rich glutathione and super greens. So having abundant glutathione levels actually blocks inflammatory cytokines. So this plays a huge role in healing the gut and reversing autoimmunity. It's been found to protect the gut walls and make them stronger. Some of you may know my history in healing centers around mast cell, histamine stuff, chronic fatigue, viral load, dysautonomia symptoms. But you may not know that at the heart of all this was an original discovery of extremely poor gut health. A comprehensive stool test showed no signs of good bacteria. So I technically was diagnosed with pretty severe leaky gut. So it all began with unraveling the dysfunction of my gut. After a morning juice, I'll usually have a special warming drink, and that's usually in the form of a matcha latte. And this isn't just a simple morning beverage for me. I very intentionally pack in a ton of gut healing spices, minerals, superfoods, joy, and by nature of all that, my morning drink is a warming, nutrient-dense, gut healing party. So this morning I had a creamy oat and soy matcha with the works, cinnamon, cayenne, rose petals, dates, Himalayan crystal salt, pumpkin seed butter, an amazing blend of euphoria herbs, and shilajit. This stuff has anti-inflammatory and purifying properties that actually suppress the growth of harmful bacteria like H. pleuri in the gut, prevents constipation, maintains healthy colon, prevents stomach discomfort, and a lot more. It was the first taste of really good sun and green grass we had so far this spring. Grounding my body and feet directly in the grass and dirt, setting my body and nervous system up for a slow reverence of the natural world. Holding and co-regulating with my sweet old puppy. This is one of the most underrated yet potent ways to heal your gut. Such a simple practice and so effective. If you want results, here's your prescription. 30 minutes of grounding per day. Watch your life and your gut totally change. Once you get your feet on the ground, you might hear your tummy rumble or you might let out some deep natural sighs or your body starts in on a swallowing response. These are all really beautiful signs your body is entering into its parasympathetic state. They don't call this the rest and digest for no reason. This state is how we're meant to eat and be and exist at baseline. It is so obvious to me that a severed connection to the earth plays a major role in poor gut health, nervous system dysfunction, intuitive degradation. I also just love laying belly directly onto the ground. I'm a true believer of just how magical it can be to actually place specific body parts onto the ground or onto the firm trunk of a tree and just holding a specific healing intention there, breathing into that connection, drawing power from the earth. It's got such a serious charge. So after my liquid morning nourishment, I head out to our little downtown farmer's market. Let me tell you more about my cute little dysbiosis story as we cruise through this people watching spectacle together. So in those early years, this was like 2014 or 15. So about 10 years ago, I took many concerted gut sealing and gut healing supplements in the beginning. So things like L-glutamine, probiotics, licorice root and while i think some of these are great they're not going to heal and seal your gut if you're still offending your microbiome and your immune system with you know continued alcohol consumption or eating acid food and drink living in chronic stress or toxic mold eating foods that are known carcinogens or known colon cloggers which side note i really think elimination and motility health are major pieces to gut dysfunction and so in that time i had a long way to go before i would really find true healing and speaking of true healing hey little interruption to shout out one of my favorite raw food vendors here 
So here are some things in my life history that I know contributed to systemic leaky gut problems in my adulthood. Daily heavy use of NSAIDs. I took huge amounts of ibuprofen when I was a server. I actually had bad back problems from scoliosis when I stood all day and I totally depended on it in my teens and 20s. And this actually blows my mind to reflect on because I have no pain now at nearly 37 after six years on a plant-based, mostly raw diet. I also abused alcohol in my teens and 20s. I was actively but unconsciously suppressing emotions and traumas. I subsisted on major processed foods, meat, dairy, diet sodas, fast food, much unlike the goodness and bio photon rich food that you see here. I had chronic daily stress, I pushed myself, I did crazy HIIT workouts while I was fatigued. Honestly, this is really just a short list of obvious offenders. I've had many experiences with mold homes, was overprescribed antibiotics my whole life, I overused harsh chemicals while working in dog rescue, I smoked cigarettes for half my life, I took hormonal birth control for half my life, and went through other invasive toxic medical procedures. So the list really does go on. It's almost comical to list all this out. Hey. <laughs> so a moment of appreciation for being so free and far from all of that. Trying to locate a place to sit without goose poop. It's pretty much just gonna sit in goose poop. Finding a gluten-free sourdough I thought would be really fun. No one had that today. Hey, do you have a gluten-free sourdough? We are not bringing it through to the market. Okay. Okay, cool. Hey, this is the gluten-free sourdough. I'm all sold out today. Are you sold out? Okay, cool. I'll get that next time. So I settled for a couple of really delicious dinner ingredients I scored from a local farm. I walked by the kombucha stand. Normally not so tempted. It's not so much my thing anymore. I prefer like a kefir or some sort of other sparkling bevy. To me, the kombuchas taste just too vinegary these days and I'm conflicted about whether or not they're really good for the gut. Way back when, when I was first having symptoms, my naturopath asked me if I drank kombucha and I was drinking it religiously every day and she thinks it contributed to like a little bit of a tipping point imbalance. Knowing what I know about health, um, my baseline of gut health is really nasty at the time. So drinking a whole lot of kombucha on top of that probably tipped the scales even more in terms of yeast. So I'm just aware of that, but today the strawberry lemonade, local live raw kombucha, it got me. So I went for it and I'm sitting in the park and it's just gorgeous and windy and effervescent. Having been six years without alcohol, sometimes a little dose of kombucha will give me a buzz. So at the farmer's market, I was told that these greens are edible. They're like a spicy mustard green. So I'm gonna add some of these to this gut healing juice. We've got celery, purple cabbage, cilantro, ginger, super simple veggie juice but very, very potent and soothing for the gut. Radishes will go on the dinner salad later. We'll grab just a little bit of cilantro. I'll probably do about half of this. Anytime I have something brand new, I like to just go a little slow with it. I am gonna peel this ginger because um, it looks a little bit too nasty to juice, but normally I would always be juicing the skin. 
maybe just cut off some parts of it here. Ginger is incredible for the gut. Every single ingredient here, highly, highly intentional, well studied for gut healing. So juices like these, they did play a big role in my gut healing as I inched my way towards plant-based eating. Celery juice in particular, once I did jump into raw foods, became a major off and on staple for me. I adore it for gut healing because it is simple, highly moving, hydrating, so mineral rich. A woman once told me a story, and there are lots of stories like this. As a raw vegan, she could not get rid of daily acid reflux until she started drinking celery juice in the morning and at night, and it went away like a charm, and that was the only thing to help out of the abundance of raw foods she was eating for many years. We'll figure it out. Purple cabbage also is well studied for gut health, but people healing H. pleuri and other gut issues in particular, they swear by cabbage juice. I'm scared. Looks like a grape otter pop. Will not taste like one. Hmm. I kind of like it. It's very spicy. Key with these veggie juices is to drink them fresh because when you save them, they get nastier and nastier over time. All right, so moving on to what was lunch. After some good relative rest in the first half of the day with nutritive cleansing liquids and really focusing on elimination, which is so important, I dove into some luscious decadent coconut yogurt, my absolute favorite form of a probiotic punch. And I paired this with two gorgeous berry bowls. They are mostly frozen local berries. So we've got tart cherries and marion berries with the chocolate mousse yogurt and wild blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries with the plain coconut yogurt. I have found personally berries to be one of the most powerful living foods for modulating gut health and cleaning up the terrain without contributing excess sugars. I am a hummer and a singer, and this is kind of my natural disposition as a person, but it seems fitting to mention that humming and singing is a really fun way to tone and stimulate your vagus nerve, which has huge implications for gut health. The vagus nerve preps the body's digestive processes and signals the muscles in your stomach to contract and push food into the small intestine. So humming also allows more airflow into the lymphatic system for functioning detox pathways. I had test results that showed my detox pathways were quite gunky. So this is why I am very serious about breath, nature, digestive rest, supportive foods like this baby, and elimination because it's all connected. And here comes dinner, baby. I busted out this incredibly gut healing soup that I had batched and stored in the freezer. It's a really simple recipe. Just veggie stock, sweet potato, carrots, sweet white mm. onion, wild fennel salt. Mm. It's soothing, delicious, super mild, and I dolloped it with this creamy turmeric sauce. Mm. My boyfriend asked me later if I regretted adding this because it didn't look very good, but I thought it was kind of fine diny. What do you think? I also roasted up a side of golden potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and carrots in a touch of coconut oil. And I paired it with my main star, my favorite, a crispy gut sweeping salad. This ended up having romaine, white radishes from the market, carrot slices, avocado, and cilantro. 
I could probably make an entire video on each ingredient in this day and how every plant item is scientifically proven to either modulate, repair, protect, or enhance your guts or all of it. The thing that's so cool about plants and fiber is that you can really hardly go wrong. So this brings me to my three top solutions for gut healing. And this is also something I diligently work with clients on. The first is time. Time. It takes time to change the microbiome. It takes time to heal. We humans just rarely have the patience for this long-term work, but I promise you, see your simple staples through. Give yourself ample time once you quit the things that damage the gut, and you'll be highly rewarded if you stick it out. Patience is a virtue in healing as well as life. I would say that was the biggest farce of working with professionals on my gut health. They never shot it to me straight by telling me I had to stop so many of my lifestyle choices and factors, which no one wants to hear it, and I didn't either. And that brings me to the second tip for gut healing, no alcohol. Alcohol is a poison that singes, rots, and burns your cells and your guts. Alcohol has no place in healing, and that's a harsh truth and probably why so many people are still collectively suffering despite trying all the best gut protocols. And the third is focusing on abundant volume and diversity of whole fruits, veggies, and other plants as raw and juicy as possible. So fruits and veggies have beautiful, mm. natural pre and probiotic profiles. This is like the best soup I've ever made. Essential micronutrients, they're anti-inflammatory, they're antioxidant rich. This stuff is the real medicine in muscling up your gut. These radishes are so mild, so good. If you pair these three things together, you have a simple winning formula for gut health that in my opinion surpasses supplements, ferments, and God forbid, freaking fecal transplants. Speaking of ferments though, mm. after dinner, I did end the day with something new, this black sesame amazake, a Japanese fermented sweet rice drink. I had never tried this, but I really loved it. It's rich in enzymes, probiotics, vitamins, minerals of course and is known to protect the intestinal barrier and aid digestion cheers you guys let me know if you like this video if you want to see more like this sending you a big hug in your gut health journey if i can do it you certainly can too